this here and in today's video I'll be teaching you guys how to make a really cool flat design like the one on the screen on Illustrator. It's my first Illustrator tutorial so I hope you guys like and if you do enjoy it comment down below if you want to see more and uh, make sure you hit the like button. So yeah I'll be teaching you guys how to make that really cool flat design on Illustrator. So first of all you do want to get on Illustrator. It doesn't matter what like um, the file size is, you can just like, I'm on 1280 by 720 so um, on the first layer let's just make a background so you want to go over to the circle and click and hold and go to rectangle tool. Then you want to change the colour to something, let's change it to a blue. Like so. And then once you've done that, oh it's got a stroke on, get rid of the stroke. So once you've done that, go to the layers and then add a new layer. And then you want to go to rectangle, change the colour to whatever colour you want of the ice cream to be. So I'm just going to choose orange. And you want to make it a size that looks good, like what size you want it to be. So that looks alright around that size. And then once you've done that, add another layer and click and hold on the rectangle and add a circle. And then you want to click at the top corner and hold shift and drag down until it hits the side. Like that. Oh, I did something wrong there. Let's do it again. Like so. And you want to make it the same colour and then just move it up so it should look something like this I think pretty good and if you want you can like resize the rectangle at the bottom so that looks really good so far so once you've done that, you want to group them together, so hold shift and click on both of them. And then go to Pathfinder. If you don't have it over here, just go to Window at the top and then Pathfinder. So once you've done that, click on both of them by holding click, uh, shift. And then go to Unite. Click there. So you've got it like a whole shape, so you can just move it around and stuff. So once you've done that, you want to go to Layers and then go underneath the the main shape and add a new layer and then you want to go to the rectangle tool make sure it's a brown because we're going to do like the stick so oops so let's just make and change the colour of it like so so that looks good and put it in the middle and once you've done that make sure it's behind it it's not behind it like so and then you want to go to the circle tool again and then click hold shift and click in the corner and drag down until it hits the side like before and then just bring it down so that it looks like it's curved at the bottom so it should end up with something like that and then you want to click and hold shift on both of them and unite it so it's a group and then you can move it up if you want like a small one. so I've got like the main shape so far I'm just gonna resize it a bit like so and then I'm just going to group these two together by shift clicking on both of them, object, expand, and then control G, group it. And then once you've done that, add a new layer. And then go to the pen tool. And you just want, we're just going to make some reflections on it, so click in the bottom corner and then around like the curve at the top like there so you want to click and hold in fact no don't do that just click straight up here and then 
you want to curve it round, so click and hold and drag. Like so, and then hold control and drag this back. And then go over here, click and drag. I'm not making this perfect, it's just. It's going to do it quick. Um, so that looks alright. And then you want to change the colour of it. And go to appearance, opacity, and bring it down to 20. 20 looks good. So that's what it looks like so far. Once you've done that, um, add a new layer and above the reflection. And then you want to go to the pen tool again. And then route down the left hand side of it, you're just going to add a bit of highlight to it. Um, so. so I'll change it to white. And then if you want you can make it a bit small. And then go to the circle tool and add some circle. Make sure it's above the um, reflection. That's looking pretty good so far. And then once you've done that, um, zoom in a bit. You want to go and add another layer and make sure it's above the um, stick at the bottom. And we're just going to add a shadow, so just click there. Yeah. Make a bit of a curve and change this to black. And then you want to change the opacity of the down to around 30, like before. So you've got a cool shadow. And then once you've done that. Add another layer above the stick and go to the middle. It should lock in place with the guides. And then click, and then click down the bottom, and then just ma mark around the edge of the stick. Like so, and change this to black, and then bring down the opacity again. So that's looking pretty cool so far. And then once you've done this, you can go down to the bottom over here and add a shadow to the bottom of the ice cream. So you can do something like this. And then change it to black again and Change the opacity of it to 30. So right now we're just adding like highlights to make it look a lot better. So it's not as flat, even though it's meant to be a flat design. But it just makes it look a lot better. And then we can add over the top of everything a little highlight at the top. So we'll make a curve. Change this to white and change it to overlay and bring it down to around 60. And then finally, once you've done all this, add one more layer to the very top. 
circles and circles. And then two circles, like so. You can change it if you want, like put it on a slant. And then move this circle up a bit. So that's looking really cool. It's got a really nice um, reflections going on. So that's basically it on Illustrator. And um, next will be on Photoshop, adding a lot of shading and um, reflections with the brush. So yeah, I'll see you in the Photoshop part. Right guys, so we're back in Photoshop, and here we'll just be adding some nice reflections and shadows with the brush. So let's get into it. Just add a new layer and create a clipping mask. And then you want to get the brush, make it white. And you don't want it too big or too small, so just in the middle around this size. And just click it a couple of times. And then change it to overlay. And then add another mask and add a couple of spots. But um, don't change it to overlay, just leave it like that. Then add another mask and change colour to black and then go to the brush and add a couple of shadows down at the bottom and also you can add it to the stick So bring down the opacity, so that looks alright, and then once you've done that you can group the whole image together, and then add one more mask, and then change colour to orange, and then just go over it in certain places. And then you can just mess around with the, um, the overlay. The screen looks pretty good. So that's basically how to make a flat design of an ice cream, ice pot, whatever you want to call it. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like if you want to see more of these tutorials. Uh, make sure you share the video. And also guys, thanks so much for 740 subs, I think we're at. I've not thanked you for 700 subs yet, but it just means a lot. It's so, so good to have that many supporters um, for my videos. So let's try and get to 800 subs soon, um, and I'll be bringing out a GFX pack for you guys to use. So make sure you hit the like button and share it to get as much people um, watching my videos so we can get to the GFX pack quicker. So yeah, I'll see you guys later, and I hope you enjoyed.